Why a root canal treatment fails? We all know that there can be many reasons for root canal failure like working length errors, incomplete BMP, missed canals, perforations, ledge formation, instrument separation and many more. But many times such situation arises in front of a clinician where he becomes clueless, absolutely clueless that why this root canal treatment got failed in spite of a good treatment and there were no symptoms at the time of final restoration. Today I am going to address the most likely causes of root canal failure after some months of treatment where canals were well obturated and good restoration provided. The most common mistake by clinician is irrational use of antibiotics. So what happens when you prescribe antibiotics it suppresses all clinical symptoms and at the time of obturation you notice no symptoms at all and you proceed for obturation and final restoration. But later after some months that suppressed symptoms due to infection becomes active again and it leads to failure. So never prescribe antibiotics until and unless there are systemic symptoms like swelling, fever etc are present if you really want to evaluate your BMP. And this help you in long run as if symptoms are relieved because of BMP and not by antibiotics. It will provide you long term success. Sometimes to be on safer side clinicians do excessive occlusal reduction. This makes tooth totally out of occlusion and there is no occlusal load on tooth. So during RCT there will be no pain but as soon as crown is placed and tooth comes in function residual inflammation will get aggravated and symptoms can come back again. So occlusal reduction should be done only in specific cases where tooth is either elevated in socket as in case of abscess or in cases where PDL is inflamed that means tooth is tender on percussion. But in some flare of cases where first priority is to relieve pain immediately it's better to completely disocclude the tooth as per my clinical experience but there is no such evidence in literature. Another cause can be lack of proper sterilization protocol. So in such scenario additional flora will be added to canal and that can flourish any time later and make your RCT a failure. Many times dentists focus on endo but fail to provide tight coronal seal. Leakage in post endo restoration is major cause of root canal failure. I recommend to use sandwich technique for this. That means a base of glass ionomer cement in pulp chamber followed by composite over it. Thank you.